Hi, in this lesson we'll be seeing the ERP basics and eBusiness Suite introduction. Before we understand the concepts of ERP, remember that you are just a database administrator or you are learning this course because you are just an administrator of the software. You are not functional consultant. So what I mean basically is that you don't need to really understand each and every concept of financials like for example general ledger, account payables, account receivables or let's say human resource. How does it work for example, how does payroll work, all these stuff are not required for you. And these are required for someone called functional consultants. Since you are just a database administrator or a DBA, you don't have to really understand all the concepts which are related to the business. You just need to understand what is an ERP and what is the product you are actually trying to manage. First we will be seeing what is ERP and then we will try to see the comparison between ERP, CRM, HCM and what are they exactly. And then we'll see what are the benefits of using a ERP. Then we'll try to understand what is Oracle Business Suite, Oracle Applications and the current ERP market. Before we try to understand what is Oracle Business Suite, we need to understand what is ERP. And for that, we need to understand how actually the non-ERP systems look like in an enterprise. Now assume this is an organization which uses different softwares for managing different departments. As you would know that every company or every enterprise have different departments in the organization. For example, there is always a finance department and there is always a HR department and there is always a purchasing or manufacturing department based on the nature of the business. Now let's say for example, I have got a finance department in my organization. And to manage my finance department or the finance related details in my company, I use a software which is built by using PHP and MySQL. And to manage the HR of HR part of my business, for example, to manage my employee records, to manage their payroll, I use a software which is built on Java software and it uses the database Oracle. And here, for purchasing, let's say I use a software which is built on .NET and it uses SQL Server database. And finally, for manufacturing department, I use a software which is built on Oracle Forms and database is Oracle. As you can see here, there are different softwares using different technologies to manage all the businesses, business functions of your enterprise. That is different departments in your enterprise. So what are the main disadvantages of using such kind of different technologies in your enterprise. The first thing is the data is actually scattered across different databases. As you would have seen in the previous slide that we have different databases such as MySQL and .NET and I am mean, sorry MySQL and SQL Server and Oracle database. So the data is basically scattered across different databases and there is no communication between all the different softwares. So they are not integrated together. They are all completely different softwares. So to make them communicate between them, you have to again use different technologies such as APIs or some other way. And due to unintegrated systems, the operational efficiency is very less. And finally, when you want to manage and update the softwares, you have to be in touch with different vendors and you have to update all the softwares one at a time because they are not integrated or they are not just one simple software. So due to this, there will be a lot of increased costs as well. So these are the disadvantages of an enterprise or a company which is using different softwares to manage different business functions of the company. Now let us see what is an ERP. So a ERP is basically nothing but a single software which is having a centralized database to manage all the business functions of the enterprise. Let's say for example my finance department uses ERP and my HR department uses ERP and my purchasing department also uses ERP which is a single software. Now what happens is when I, when I use a single software to manage all the business functions of my entire company or an organization you have the data at one place and all the softwares communicate or all the departments can communicate through the same application easily. This actually improves the business processes efficiency and the data is stored in a single database 
and the since they are all integrated the process is always streamlined and it is e easy to always manage and update a single software and the the operational costs are hence reduced and also you'll have a 360 degree view of your business operations which means if there is an co a executive of your company it can, he can be ceo or for example cxo or any of the executive team member he can have a 360 degree view of your entire business operations at one single time because you're using one software to manage your entire business operations. Now, we have seen what is an ERP. ERP basically contains the software that helps you manage your accounting, finance, logistics, production and everything. But what about supply chain? If your company is also having actually supply chain, there is another software called supply chain management. Similarly, there is something called CRM, which is customer relationship management software to manage the sales, marketing and the customer service. So these are all different business management softwares in the market. So one is ERP, SCM and CRM. And there are different companies in the world which provide these softwares. For example, Microsoft offers Microsoft Dynamics, which provides these kind of software. And SAP, for example, offers software which to manage or to provide basically ERP, SCM or CRM. So now let us understand what is Oracle Business Suite. Oracle Business Suite is basically nothing but it's it's a category of products in Oracle, and it has started basically with financials in 1980s, and then they slowly extended it to HCM, SCM, CRM in 2009. So Oracle e Business Suite is nothing but a suite of ERP, SCM, CRM, and HCM. So basically, Oracle Business Suite provides you the functionality of an ERP and supply chain management software and also CRM software and also HCM software, that is human capital management, HR. So basically, Oracle Business Suite contains different families. So a family can be set, for example, as financials. Financials is one family. HR is one family. So these families again contains individual modules. For example, in HR, I can say there is core HR just to manage the HR or employee records basically. And there can be for example payroll. Payroll is again a different module. So what you need to understand here is that eBusiness Suite is a combination of different families and each family has different modules. Now there are thousands of customers globally for Oracle Business Suite. It is one of the most used software for managing the organizations or the business functions in a company. It is one of the largely used ERP softwares in the market and it has second highest share after SAP. The current version is 12.2.10 that is as of January 2021. And as I said before, Oracle eBusiness Suite is part of a category called Oracle Applications. So remember one important thing, if someone asks you what is the difference between Oracle Applications and Oracle eBusiness Suite, remember that Oracle Applications is a category of products in Oracle Corporation. What do I exactly mean by a category of products? So when I see a cat, when I mean, when I say a category of products, that means that, for example, in Oracle, we have a category called database. Oracle offers different types of databases, Oracle database, MySQL database, Berkeley database, etc. Now, that is a category of products called database. Similarly, Oracle has a category of products which are used for managing business and that category is called Oracle Applications. As you can see here, it's called Oracle Applications. And Oracle eBusiness Suite is one of the products that falls under this category called Oracle Applications. So inside the Oracle Business Suite, as I discussed it before, there are different families and you can see human capital management, financials, manufacturing and auto management all these are different families and each of them have different products if you want to have a list of all the products what they are there in each of these of categories you can visit this link oracle.com slash a applications e business suite products.html now as an example i have taken one family of products that is ebs financials in EBS Financials, as you can see here, there is Oracle Receivables and I Receivables, Receivables, General Ledger, Cash Management, Payables. These are one of the mostly used modules in financial mo financials family. 
Now in Oracle applications, as I told before, which is a category of products in Oracle, there are different other different products as well, not only eBusiness Suite. So eBusiness Suite is one of the products and there is something called JD AdWords, which also provides ERP management software. And also PeopleSoft is one of the products and Siebel is also one of the products which comes under Oracle applications category. And also there is now something called NetSuite, which is also mostly most used, one of the most used softwares in the market. So these are all the products which come under Oracle applications. So what are other different ERP softwares in the market? Oracle NetSuite, Oracle eBusiness Suite, Oracle Cloud ERP, SAP, Dynamics, Ramco, Sage, Infer, Epicor. So there are different ERP softwares in the market. So in this lesson, what we have learned is what is ERP? And why do companies use ERP? What are the benefits of using ERP? What is Oracle Business Suite? What is Oracle Applications? What are different families and what are different modules inside these families in Oracle Business Suite? Thank you for watching the video.